What's up everyone, Labisha and I on my channel, Tech God. And in this video, it's a tutorial. And in this video, I'll be teaching you how you can claim your custom YouTube URL without having 500 subscribers on your channel. And having 500 subscribers and your channel needs to be 30 days old is the requirements by YouTube to claim your custom URL and for those who don't know what a custom URL is it's like a domain name for your channel so you type in youtube.com slash your channel's name to claim that so I'll be providing this link as link one in the description down below and what you need to do is to open it and a page like this will appear like on my screen you can see it's written eligibility requirements go to that section of the page and it's not rocket science it's a very simple tutorial to follow and do as I do here so what you need to do is to open this page and quickly go through all the things and actually you don't need to go through all the things just go through them as to see what all you're avoiding to claim that URL and what you can do with it so when you're there just click on this link which says link by verifying a website or a web page so when you click that this thing opens which is webmaster linking and what a webmaster linking is that you need to link your channel to a website but a website is paid of course you don't need to you know make your pocket loose for this tutorial and what you can do is to create a blog and what I suggest is that the gmail id that you use is to open your so as you can see I have six subscribers as you saw earlier just a second ago and I have a custom URL so what you need to do is create a blog free blog on blogger.com and use the same gmail id as you use to access your youtube account and go to advanced section of your channel and link that in associated websites page and it will take a minute or two to follow that and you're done and good to go for that but if you're not don't sweat it you'll be linking that otherwise in the webmaster tools so once you're done go to webmaster tools and you won't be seeing these three options there just go to that button which says red button which says add a property and you can go to webmaster tools by searching webmaster tools on google and click the first link Google search console or webmaster tools anything like that the link is fine and you need to sign in with your gmail account use the same account as you used to sign into your youtube and click add a property and type in the url of your blog here and once you do that just for example let's type in www.sample.blogspot.com so you can type in any url here you can even type in google.com but the thing here is you need to verify that you're the owner of their website so I don't recommend the recommended method thing here because it says it's recommended but it's actually difficult to follow those tutorial and just click on the alternative methods and go to HTML tag and it's quite an easy method to verify a website just copy that tag here which says Google Meta and all that just copy that and go to your blog and click on the template section and go to edit HTML and once you go into that section it, it will look a bit awkward for you if you are not into coding that much and don't be scared with that because as I said it's not a rocket science you need to calm down and search for a tag which says head and head tag is always at the starting of your code so if you can't find it just click inside the console just copy your thing click inside the console if you can't find head just click control F and this will open a search finder on the page just type in open the uh, greater than tab type in head and then less than and you'll see a yellow marker on your thing paste your this meta tag under that tag and click verify and you will be verified within a second and I can't show you here how that looks like because I'm already verified so I can't show you that but it does work every time and what you need to do after that is go to Google my business it's a free service from Google 
and what you need to do is search for that and sign in so as you can see I searched and signed in I am signed in into that service and I received the email so you will not see a page like this you will see a normal page sign in like a google plus account connect your accounts and here also use the same gmail id that you used to sign into your youtube account and once you're done you will see a pop up to link your website and uh, link that website here and it will verify with the google webmasters follow the tutorial the google will itself giving you pop up will teach you how to go about the process and you'll be done so it's a very simple thing to follow and once you're done all with all of these things just cross check or if you have missed any step or two so if you haven't you know verified the website go about it and verify it or check your website here on your channel so and that's pretty much it for the tutorial and all you need to do now is actually waiting because once you're done with all that close all you don't need any of that again then you don't have to open Google my business in your entire life again just copy this URL which I'll be given in the description down below it says YouTube slash advanced settings and paste it in your browser and be signed into your YouTube account because that's necessary for this and uh, once you're done with that pasting your URL into the browser a page like this will appear and uh, this is actually the page that I was working so that's not the correct page that must open I'll be giving the correct URL which is this account advanced so you need to go into the advanced setting of your channel which you cannot access right away so these are the advanced settings and as you can see my custom URL is youtube.com slash online. and as you saw I have only six subscribers so how is that possible that, that was my that was pretty mind blowing for sp some people because they don't know how to do it because you require 500 subscribers on your channel so they were thinking that I had these many subscribers but you know I was quite shocked that people don't know that you can do that so once you're done with all of that you'll see a pop up here which says claim your custom URL just click that button right there and you're good to go and my URL works so I can show you you can copy that and paste that in your browser and I'll be giving my URL also into your uh, you know description so if you have a URL which says youtube.com slash C or S or user slash your channel's name just go to your redirect URL just scroll down and in the re redirect URL section just type in the correct URL that you want to you know present to people so just you know edit C and user from your given URL for from YouTube and paste the real URL so that's pretty much it for today and thanks for watching if you like this tutorial give it a thumbs up if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to see more tutorial of this kind in the future subscribe and yes this is Windows 10